Beneath our fresh waters lies a world we can barely imagine. A world where every ripple becomes language, where colour fades with depth, and survival depends on reading signals humans would never even notice. And in this realm, one predator has mastered it all, the perch. This is Perch Biology Explained, Episode 2, The Senses of a Hunter. Perch eyes are tuned to the light that fresh water carries best. Studies of European perch from the Danube show their peak visual sensitivity is around 535 nanometers, the green wavelengths that travel farthest through rivers and lakes. A secondary sensitivity extends towards the orange and red end, but green and yellow dominate their visual world, a design built for the perch. At dawn and dusk, their dense rod cells take over, making them effective low light predators. And those dark vertical bars running down the flank? They break up the body outline, a perfect camouflage among reeds and shadows. And in clear water, the perch can also hold its position, still, balanced, waiting for motion, a sudden change of angle or a moment of vulnerability. But vision is only one doorway into this world. Running the length of the perch's body is a sensory organ far more sophisticated than it appears. It's called the lateral line. At its heart are structures called neuromasts, clusters of mechanoreceptive hair cells buried in small pores and canals beneath the skin. Each neuromast is topped by a tiny gelatinous cap called the cupula, which bends with even the slightest movement of water. When a law beats through the water, the flow it creates pushes the cupula, deflecting the hair cells inside, and that mechanical movement becomes an electrical signal sent straight to the perch's brain. Two systems that work together, superficial neuromasts exposed on the skin, sampling gentle currents and near surface flow, and canal neuromasts, housed deeper inside the lateral line canal, tuned to sudden accelerations, turbulence, and the pressure gradients produced by prey. Together, they detect motion, vibration, displacement, and other changes in the water with extraordinary sensitivity. For perch, the lateral line isn't simply a sense, it's a guidance system, a way of reading the invisible structure of the water around it. And when perch hunting packs, this system becomes even more remarkable. Each fish sensing the pressure waves of its neighbours, moving as one coordinated predator pack. Underwater, the lateral line is the physics of survival. Sound behaves differently underwater. It travels a lot faster than in air, and much farther. Inside the perch's ear lie three chambers, each containing a dense calcium carbonate stone called an otolith. As sound waves pass through the fish, the otoliths lag ever so slightly behind the surrounding tissues. This tiny difference becomes the electrical signal the brain interprets as sound. But the swim bladder adds something extraordinary. As an air-filled chamber, it resonates with low frequency vibrations, amplifying them and feeding that information directly to the inner ear. A crayfish shifting stones, a baitfish kicking weed, or a lure rattling through the water. Long before the perch sees anything, it hears the world. And when visibility is low, the perch's ability to hunt continues. Because perch rely heavily on chemical cues also. Their paired olfactory pits detect dissolved amino acids, prey scents, and environmental traces drifting in the water. Taste buds line the mouth and throat, 
give an immediate feedback to the fish. Some teleos species have taste receptors on the lips and fins, but I couldn't find whether the research has been shown for the perch or not. So their primary tasting occurs internally. When a bait fish is injured, it releases a chemical plume, a trail that can linger. Even in darkness, even in winter, the perch can follow that trail with remarkable precision. Each sense is powerful. The real mastery lies in how they combine. Vibration, low frequency sound, motion and chemical trace. These signals do not arrive separately. The perch's brain layers them into one unified picture of the world. What we experience as five distinct senses, the perch experiences as a single certainty. That prey is near. The world narrows to a single target and the strike begins. Understanding how a perch senses its world can help change how we fish. In murky water, lean into vibration type laws and speak to the lateral line. In low light, contrast matters more than color. And in cold water, maybe slow everything down a little bit. Think about it, that soft plastic you twitch, the perch feels it before it sees it. That crankbait rattle travels through the water like prey in panic. Match the sense to the conditions, and you're not just fishing, you're speaking their language. If you've enjoyed this chapter, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss episode 3, where we follow the perch into spring, and uncover the secrets of how this predator begins the next generation. This is Perch Biology Explained, and until next time, stay hooked. I'm Stu, a British military veteran and predator angling runs deep in my veins. It's about wild waters, the chase and a way of life. If you enjoyed this adventure, hit subscribe. And if you want to go even further, join my channel memberships for raw, unfiltered predator sessions and exclusive films you won't see anywhere else. This is Hooked on Predator Fishing and until next time, stay hooked.